morning friends! Today we're making Polish zapiekanki. Welcome back friends! This is Polish Your Kitchen. My name is Anna and today I'm teaching you how to make a Polish delicious fast food. Imagine that! There's fast food in Poland. Uh, we are making zapikanki. It's an open-faced sandwich made out of uh, bread and then a variety of toppings. And we're making this, uh, this dish as we're inspired by our trip to Krakow recently where we had some delicious zapikanki. So I'm gonna start by cutting my bread and you can do a baguette or you can do hoagies uh, if you can buy those, or you can buy any, you can even do round Kaiser rolls if you couldn't find anything else. But I like to make them when that's just the way you buy them in Krakow, which they're super long and they're when you're eating them, they're just falling, everything's falling out because <laughs> they're full of different toppings. So I'm making, um, I'm just cutting my baguette into two in half, and then each half will be cut in half to make our open face sandwich. Just carefully cut your bread. Now I'm going to place it right onto my baking dish. And I have uh, my oven going at 350 Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. And each of these, so traditionally these came around to Poland in the 70s. And this was when Poland was still under um, communism, and we did, we weren't getting any influences from abroad. Um, so Poles wanted to kind of come up with our own fast food, and that's when zapikanki kind of came around. So traditionally, they are made with um, different. I mean, there are different toppings, but the basis of it, or everyone gets a layer of cheese and a layer of mushrooms. And then you can add whatever toppings you want. So the classic is normally just mushrooms, onions, or mushroom and cheese, and then that's it, ketchup maybe. But maybe not even sometimes. So we're gonna top uh, all of ours with mushrooms and cheese, and then we'll do a few different, or four different variations. Uh, and you can pick whichever one is your favorite, or make all of them. So to prep your mushrooms, I have about 16 ounces here, and I just slice them and I saute them in butter for probably about 10 minutes until all of the water is gone. We don't want any moisture in them. And then I have some shredded cheese, so we'll start with that. And I asked my husband today to help me with it, but he said that he won't. He doesn't like Polish people. <laughs> That's not true, it's just that you're too pretty. And if I stand next to you, then I ugly it all up. <laughs> so I have, um, so kind of to divide it into, or to make it even, I just kind of make an imaginary line in it, just so I know how much to do on each slice. And I'm gonna put this much on each of them. And you can obviously do however much you want, this is just kind of a general idea of how much should go on them. But I know kids sometimes sometimes don't like mushrooms, so you can skip mushrooms, but try to make it with mushrooms first. And then if that's something they're not willing to try, then maybe you adjust. Or get them in the kitchen, try to try, you know, get them to help you, because then you know, they're always more, more willing to eat the food that they've helped making. So, um, the mushrooms, as I said, we sauteed. I added a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Probably a good couple pinches of salt uh, to get the water out, or water to release first, and then kind of out of the out of them, so we don't want the water soaking into our, into our bread. I enjoy when we're making zapikanki uh, instead of just salt and pepper, and this is an American thing, so don't, nobody, you know, flame out on the interwebs about 
this part because it's not traditional quote unquote Polish. But I like to use Montreal Montreal steak seasoning in the mushrooms because it, it it I don't know the combination of those flavors work really well with the mushrooms while you're making zapakank. So if you want to be crazy and get all wackadoo, try that out. Yeah. That's... But it's not traditional, so don't yell at Anna. Yeah, I have. I have to be. <laughs> My, my my watchers and readers are are nice people. They are nice people. That's very true. I, I'm never afraid that I'm going to get talked to. <laughs> <laughs> so this seems like you got a little bit less mushrooms than the, the rest. That's, that's okay. okay. You'll just put extra bacon on that one. Our daughter doesn't is not crazy about mushrooms, so she'll get that one. Okay, so we have mushrooms. Quick. And then I have a mound of cheese. We did Gouda. I prefer to buy cheese in blocks because then there's not a lot of, or there isn't any additives. Like sometimes they put uh, some flowers to keep the cheese from sticking when they sell it shredded. So I kind of just like doing this. So now we're going to do a nice coat of cheese. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. And all those bits that are falling are gonna bake around our bread and that's gonna be the the best bits of all. So I'm probably doing about four or five, probably five tablespoons per baguette. But again, depending on the shape and size of your uh, bread, you can kind of form it how you how you want it. But they already look amazing. The kids would love this part too. So and these are this is also great for people who have dietary restrictions, like say they're vegan or vegetarian. You can put this to whatever you want. You can get your any kind of cheese you want. Well, if they're and vegan, they can't have cheese. Oh, they make vegan cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah, they do. Okay. So, okay, so I have a little cheat sheet here. So with the first one, we're just doing mushrooms and, uh, and cheese. And after they've baked, I'm gonna just decorate it with ketchup and chives. Because that's like the classic, um, that's the only what I get when I eat those um, outside my home. So this one's gonna be just plain like this. We'll finish it off later. Then the next one I'm really excited about because it's got sausage, called mm. nice smoked Polish sausage. Oh my god, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I have it sliced here, and then we're gonna add uh, nice Polish pickles, which are always also here, and some uh, just regular white onion. Uh, you can do also red onion, and I think I want to make that one more spicy too. So I'm gonna add. Red pepper, pe bleh, bleh, bleh. red pepper flakes to it, which I only have like tiny bit, but that's, that's okay. That's all you I just, need. I just thought about it. So I'm gonna do the sausages, and also you can go as this is. We made this one, my dad and I, and he smoked it. It's really delicious. And I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm gonna add the pickles once um, this is cooked. Also, uh, should I do onions now or yes. fresh onions? No, onions no? now. Okay. I'll cook down I'll a little do bit. A little bit of onion. Not super a lot. And this will also get a little bit of ketchup on top. So we have that one, and then the next one we'll do is ham and fried onions. That one's really good too. I have some. Nicely sliced ham. We'll do a few slices. Get nice, good quality ham. Maybe I'll do like little wrinkles in it, huh? What do you think? Sure. Do a wrinkly ham. Nice slice here. And uh, the French fried onions. We'll go on top after it's cooked also. They're not just for Thanksgiving anymore. Yeah. And last but not least, I have uh, a spicy version with bacon and um, jalapenos. And I have made some garlic sauce for this one. 
So you're gonna need probably around this again, as much as you want, but over here I have about four uh, slices of bacon that I've already cooked, because this isn't gonna be in the oven for too long, so I don't want my bacon to be just uncooked and raw on top, so I'm gonna pre cook this. And. This one is the way I test my cholesterol medication to see if it's working. <laughs> and then a few jalapenos. Again, as many as you want. And the sauce that goes on it is, we'll also put on there um, once they are, once our zapikanki are done. So to make the sauce, <clears throat> again, um, I'm posting the recipe for all of these uh, to my blog, poetryourkitchen.com, and the link for it is right below this, uh, this video in the video description. So hit me a like and subscribe to my channel too. Uh, so in here I have about four tablespoons of uh, sour cream and about one tablespoon of mayonnaise, a pinch of salt, pinch of sugar, or two pinches of sugar, uh, one clove of garlic, and a sprinkle of lemon juice. And it's a nice, nice savory sauce. You can use it, oh, it's so good. You can use it for french fries, you can use it for anything you want. So our zapikanki are ready to go in. I'm gonna pop them in the oven, and we're gonna watch them cook. Uh, I'm gonna probably say they're gonna do about 10 minutes or so, but watch your oven, every oven is different. And then when we take them out, we'll dress them. So here we go. So actually just five minutes in the oven today and our uh, toasties are ready. Our bread has nice crust on it, but it's not super dried out. And the cheese is melted. Since the bacon was already cooked, it just warmed up. The ham warmed up, the sausage got just a little bit of uh, crisp around the edges, so we're not gonna take it any further. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <clears throat> so we'll start with our basic one. So this this first one will get just ketchup and chives, and you gotta be generous with the ketchup, and you have to do the zigzags. So you go like this. Serpentine, serpentine. This is also a fun thing to do for kids. And then, a nice and generous sprinkle of green onions. Oh. I like this one. So the word zapiekanka comes from uh, the word zapiekach, which means to roast. So you just those are the roasties. We we'll decided I'm gonna call them roasties. So our first roasties done. And then the sausage and pickle and onions was the one that I wanted to sprinkle a little, little bit of um, red pepper, red pepper flakes on it. But they also get ketchup. Because and why? You not? also have to go zigzag. It's mandatory. It's mandatory zapikanki rule. And I'm just gonna do a light, a light coating of red pepper flakes. I think it'll give it a nice zing. And the next one was our uh, ham, and this is gonna be uh, with fried onions, and also ketchup. So we're zigzagging again. And this is also a great part of food. Even if you were to cut these in half and mix and match, people can grab uh, one or the other, or Good, great camping. Oh, I guess if you're camping in a camper and have a oven, you can make those. But um, this is great fast food. And so those will get that, and then the the bacon and um, <laughs> and jalapeno one will get the homemade garlic sauce. You could also do ranch uh, if you wanted to, but. It's worth trying this garlic, this homemade garlic sauce. I think once you make it, you will keep making it. 
And I'm also gonna try to make it a zigzag. Preferably, I would like to put it in a plastic bottle so I can get the zigzag, but I'll just try to get it with a spoon. Just like this real quick. This one is, I guess, a little bit more black. That's okay. And did I want to put anything on top of that one? Good no. choice. We can do green onions. I'd probably do some green onions also. Yeah, do some green onions. Just a few. It's also a nice color and it's a little more appetizing when you have like kind of different varieties. And look, don't they look gorgeous? I'd like to try one. And I think I'm gonna try the one with garlic. But before I do, my friends, because my mouth is gonna be full of food, <laughs> I wanna invite you to come again. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channels, channel, visit my merch store. Merch store is at polisherkitchen.com and at the top menu, it sort of says merch store. Or if you're on mobile, it's on your side menu. Just click on there and you have t-shirts and aprons and baby onesies and totes, all kinds of stuff. Amazon, Amazon.com sells my Christmas book. It's around $6 now. If you'd like to purchase a larger amount, let me know. I can give you a deal. Shall we? We shall. Mmm. It's crispy and delicious. You're gonna love it. Make it at home. Smudge nigga. We'll see you next time.